This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 6. In tonight's WGN Investigates, complaints about a suburban travel agent who charged for trips that in some cases were never booked. More than a dozen families have come forward warning others about deals that they say were too good to be true. WGN Investigates' Lourdes Duarte picks up the story from there. Well, not only did some people not get their trips, but in some cases their credit cards were used to charge thousands of dollars in other things. Their warning tonight, look out for anything that seems like the deal of a lifetime. We'd like everything from the beginning to the end to see exactly what's going on. Okay. okay. At the Oakland Police Department, they've heard every story in the book. Lately, it's the same story, though, from people like Carmen Bonilla, who after a year of waiting to get her money back, decided to file a complaint with police. So I'm taking it as a loss. I don't think I'm going to get it. They can only try to help me. Her sister-in-law, Griselda, has lost all hope, too. I'm not the only one. There's a lot of people that she's done this to. Over the last several months, we're 15 plus people that have reported this to us. Nightmare stories that began with the idea of dream vacations. Beautiful images now overshadowed by several investigations into M&M events and promotions. A string of police reports alleged that people purchased vacation packages but didn't get what they paid for. In one report, the person claims that she also discovered an unauthorized charge of nearly $9,000 on her credit card. Another found that no airplane tickets had been purchased and their rooms had never been paid for. She sounds so convincing. She's very, you know, she would send pictures of the Cancun trip. She would tell me, you know, as, almost like a, like a travel agent, right? She's talking about M&M's owner, Maysoon Nasir, who is now at the center of those police investigations and the target of negative social media posts, which is where she promoted those vacation packages. For $5,000, Griselda Granado purchased a trip and traveled with her family to Cancun. I get there and they tell me I only have a two day reservation for my family of five. And you had booked a 10 day reservation <laughs> and I had to pay for the rest out of my credit card because I mean, we were out there, we were stuck. Bonilla meanwhile was days from her Florida trip when she had to make other arrangements. I called the hotel, they didn't have my name, no confirmation, my name, her name, nothing. In both cases, they say Nasir blamed it on a glitch or a mix-up. Just a bunch of excuses from one to another, and I was very patient with her. Others have similar stories. WGN Investigates visited Nasir on two separate days to get her side of the story, but no response. The village of Oak Lawn did track her down and asked her to stop operating or obtain a business license. Ultimately, it's a civil offense and the business will be issued citations, which ultimately could lead to a case in court. Despite that request, a July 26 White Sox Cubs Crosstown Classic event put on by M&M for $130 a ticket is still in the works. The White Sox tell WGN it is not an authorized event. At some point, people must have trusted this person that they recommended her. So what do you think happened? Well, I think the trust was there because she's a high school friend of friends, right? But then I think she just got over her head. And Asir has paid back some individuals or made partial payments. Others continue to wait. Oakland police are following up on every case and say there is the potential for charges in the coming weeks. The Illinois Attorney General has also been made aware of the ongoing complaints. And the White Sox are warning people to only purchase tickets through them or authorized ticket partners. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN Investigates. Still ahead, more news.